FF&E is a term that's oftentimes used in both commercial lending and commercial real estate that stands for furniture, fixtures, and equipment. These are things that a lender would give you money for within your loan that would cover things that can be taken away from the space when you leave. Those would be things like office furniture or art to put on the walls or sometimes cabinetry. In healthcare real estate in particular, FF&E is important because there's a lot of specialized cabinetry in particular that you would buy to put into your space that's not part of the space. Most of the time a landlord is putting FF&E into a lease so that they know what is staying with them when you leave. As a healthcare provider, you wanna make sure that you're outlining anything that is equipment in particular because landlords oftentimes think cabinetry would stay with the space when, the, when you leave. If you buy ADEC or Midmark equipment that comes into the space that may even be attached to the wall, that can go with you when you leave. If this is not outlined in the lease, it can cause a legal issue when you do leave the space and try to bring your equipment with you if the landlord thinks that is part of the space. The best case scenario with FF&E is to outline specifically what is FF&E and what is part of the space. Another important thing to consider with FF&E is that a landlord's tenant improvement allowance cannot be used for that type of equipment. Most often the overlap happens as it pertains to the cabinetry. Some doctors elect to have a contractor build the cabinetry into the operatories or the exam rooms. That is not FF&E. When you leave the space, you may not take that with you. Your other option is to buy equipment from a manufacturer that has its own specific serial number that can leave when your lease ends. In this case, it's important that specific equipment is noted within the lease so that there is no discrepancy when your lease ends.